Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. So today I am doing something very different. Um, I am in nature. I'm at my local park right here on the mound and I am going to be doing an unboxing for Sugar Muses, their Mabon Deluxe Box for this coming Sabbath. So I'm going to explain to you why I am at the park, but I am really, really happy right now. And you may hear some noise, some kids playing, but it's all good. And I'll explain in a minute. So let's get started. So it has been some time. Um, I saw I wanted to explain a couple of things. Well, first of all, <clears throat> if you don't know, um, and I keep on bringing this up, I had an apartment fire on April 16th. And I'll link that little video, very, very quick one, <clears throat> what happened. Um, and now we are temporarily in a studio. And so I can't deal with being in there sometimes. There's too many people, too little space. Um, and that's kind of why I cannot like really do art right now. I literally have like no space to do it um, it's been really really difficult I can't think straight so I was like you know what I am going to come out here today in the public and do this unboxing this is a public park it ain't my backyard uh, don't have one of those but I'm leaning up against a tree and of course even though I'm trying to find some peace and quiet there is a guy freaking blowing leaves behind me. So if you hear that, I do apologize, but there's literally nothing I can do about it. And I got my glasses so I could actually read. They're not uh, the cutest, but you know, they work. So what if I have to read something, I can actually see. And I even brought my scissors if I have to open up something. All right, so this is the deluxe box from Sugar Muses. This is the Mabon box. This is the next um, Sabbath holiday as you will coming up for the wheel of the year. It is the second harvest and the third, the first harvest is Lunasa or Lamas. Um, the second is Mabon and the third is of course Samhain or as everyone else knows it by Halloween. All right, so let's just open her up. And if I get some stairs, um, so be it. I don't even care anymore. Whoop. And let's hopefully nothing blows away. All right. And you're going to hear people talking behind me and maybe some kids. And so, again, this is a public park, but I figured let me come out here early. So I does not too, too crowded. So... You know what, let me change my glasses now so I can actually see. I'm just gonna read the beginning here. And also I wanted to talk to you because I don't even have any peace of mind to even do a voice over these days. So it's been really, really difficult. Um, there's no peace and quiet. Okay, I can read. Um, here's the leaf blower guy. Anyway, Sabbat Mabon, intention spell, celebrating Mabon, red candle magic spell for attraction. This September 23rd, the Northern Hemisphere celebrates Mabon, also known as the Second Harvest. It is a time to balance our lives and celebrate our blessings. The festival is named after the god of Welsh, Welsh mythology, Mabon. He is the child of light and the son of the river goddess, Modron. This is the time of year where we see ripe, juicy apples and pumpkins at local markets and stands. Beautiful bundles of jeweled tone corn, golden haystacks, and the days swiftly shorten as the leaves begin to turn a kaleidoscope of rich colors as they begin to swirl and fall around us in the cool winds of autumn. We are reminded of the darker season to come. This month we celebrate the return of autumn. Okay, so the rest um, is probably the spoilers. I'm going to take these glasses off, otherwise... I will go blind. All right. So let's open her up. I may get some stairs out here. Like, what is this girl doing? But at this point in my life, I don't care anymore. So the first thing I see is this beauty right here. 
this a beautiful black envelope. So let's, with a seal on it, very pretty. I'd rather hear the screams of children in a leaf blower other than snoring and, oh, how nice. So this is the probably like intuitively chosen um, oracle card, or excuse me, this is a tarot card. This is beautiful. Strength, yep, yep. This is perfect for me right now. So we have that. And then this is a spell, so I am not going to show you, but this is here. Um, red candle spell to attract what you most desire, and then you will need, and it gives, because I don't like to give out um, the spells and stuff. All right, so the next thing I see is this beautiful art print. Absolutely gorgeous. And her name is Christy. I don't know if I see her name down there. I don't know if she makes these herself. Let's move this back. This is really beautiful. So you can, you know, put this in a book of shadows. You can use it as wall art. I tend to put them like on my altar as altar art. Um, I may even like um, have this frame, like get like a little cute little frame. So it's kind of windy out today. So I'm wondering if my stuff is gonna blow away. So the second art print is a uh, book of shadow sheet of dragon's blood. So this is again, absolutely beautiful. I wish I had a backyard guys, so I could actually do this in peace. Um, Sacred to Thor, Athena, Oya, and the Morrigan. Cool. Yeah, I have um, dragon's blood, uh, like, a, like a sage stick. All right. Oh, it is really windy. I'm gonna put these guys under here. Okay. Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. This guy's gonna come and start talking, and I just don't want y'all to hear it. All right, I am back, and now the dogs are barking. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna continue because this is not anyway. But this is so much better than being in the house, so it's a beautiful, beautiful day out. So this is beautiful. So this is Magic Spell 15 Inset Sticks, Happiness White Sage, and it comes with this beautiful pentacle um, incense burner. So that is really, really cute. I've been looking um, for a smaller one. So this is really, really nice. And by the way, Sugar Muses, um, I did get their uh, Midnight Muses box, but again, my, my house was so terribly um, noisy. I just, you know, and I, I had this idea of coming out here um, after the fact, you know what I mean? So anyway, but Sugar Muse is what I was meant to say is, is one of the three of my favorite uh, witchy like boxes that I get. This is not a subscription. They do have subscription and they also have like a one-time purchase and I usually do that. Anyway, so here is basically what I have already at home. It is a Dragon's Blood um, uh, smoke cleansing stick bundle. So this, let me smell. Very, very nice. And I just like being in the grass right now. Um, I'm more of a fall winter person, so I'm, I'm actually more in the house um, in the summer. So then we have an absolutely gorgeous, as usual, Mabon candle. I, yeah, this, this is definitely one of my favorite uh, boxes. I get Midnight Muses and Sugar Muses. Just aesthetically pleasing, um, beautiful. Oh, wow, gorgeous. Look at that. There's a charm in there. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice. Uh, yeah, perfect. It sells, smells like cinnamon and fall, of course. Of course, there's some warnings there. Just beautiful. All right. So let's put her here. I'm going to back the box up a little bit and stick these guys in here. 
All right, cool. This is the first time I've done this in nature, guys, so bear with me. All righty, what we have here. I have a feeling this is, yep, this is gonna go with the that spell card here. So, all right, so we have two beautiful, very big, it's like, you know, regular size tapers, but they're not little tiny spell candles. These are quite, you know, regular size, like full size. So that's really, really nice. Okay. Yeah, she does a beautiful job. Her name is Christy. She does a wonderful job. Let's see what is in here. All right. What do we have? We have a crystal or a stone. And now it's quieted down a little bit. I think the leaf blower went bye-bye. All right. But it is New York City, so here we go. I am not sure what this is, but we will go back and um, see what it is. Cause, let's see, tumbled Shiva. I'm just looking at the papers, guy. It's a tumbled Shiva Lingam Narmada stone. I have never heard of it. Uh, correspondences, elements, earth, wind, fire, and water, so everything, except for spirit. Uh, talks about the chakras. It only comes from one place, this stone, through the Narmada River in western India. Wow, one of India's most holy sites. The villages around Narmada River gather these stones from the river and hand polish them so they are smooth, rounded shape, and it resonate, resonates with all the chakras. And symbolic of the divine creative manifestation. Wow, um, freaking awesome. All right, and here's the leaf blower, damn it. <laughs> I can't get a break. All right, so let's put her up here. You can see. Now, what do we wanna go for next? So we have some star anise. That's probably for our, like our little spell. And we have some ginger, dry ginger. Okay. All right. Now, I am really excited here because this box was kind of heavy. So. This is freaking awesome. This looks like a candle holder and it has a freaking pentacle and a raven on it. Is that not, Christy, you outdid yourself? Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. And by the way, this box, I believe, is $60. Um, that, that's like all with shipping and everything included. And sometimes I prefer to get like the more expensive boxes because I know I'm gonna just, get my money's worth I feel or more than my money's worth that is really beautiful okay uh, the leaf blower guys I'm so sorry so this is actually a pair of one for each candle that is amazing people around here are probably gonna think I am like literally doing some kind of <laughs> witchcraft right or like you know right in the middle of the city of the city park but I am just doing an unboxing I'm gonna that I do that privately all right what else do we have here y'all there's still more in here oh my god leaf blower and the dogs but you know I kind of figured that so what do we have in here I just wanted to talk to you guys because I was tired of doing voiceovers. You know, I did some short content stuff. So, um, all right. So we have, I think this is Demeter. This is botanical oil. Her oils are really, really nice. So it has anise, cardamom, sandalwood, and patchouli. Oh my God, I know I'm gonna love this. This is like right up my alley, so. Let's smell. Yep, right up my alley. 
wonderful. Okay. And what do we have in here? There's still more. We have some tea. Avena Organic Tea. And I love her packaging. So, ingredients are chamomile, passion flower, lemon balm, oat straw, linden flower, lemon verbena, fennel, calendula, and nutmeg, and it's caffeine free, and it gives you the directions. Beautiful. There we go. And then she puts in a little, like, reusable tea bag. I wish this guy would stop blowing the freaking leaves, I swear. And there's still more guys. Oh my god, wait. What? Wait. What? <laughs> okay. There is more. Oh, there is something in a box. Okay, I thought I was seeing things. So, we have... Oh, this is so cool. Alright. So, we have a beautiful, like, necklace charm. And I'm sure it, this is a black salt. And look at that. Oh, sorry. If you could see that. Very, very cool. So that is really, really awesome. I mean, her aesthetic is like right up my alley. It's like dark, almost kind of like academia in a way, but just really, really like to me, aesthetically pleasing. And then we have two more things, I think. We have, oh cool, we got some black sand. Nice. And I believe, last but not least, and why are you sitting right here, dude, dude, we have a beautiful, beautiful bottle of black salt. So that is the box. That is what's in the box. So I will get the information and I will be right back. I am back. So here is the beautiful. I'm just going to take this silly camera stand out of here. I just want to show you. Here's my knee. Oh my god. Everyone seems to be wanting to literally pass me. And I literally don't get it. Anyway, um, they have like a whole park to like walk past. They literally walk past. <laughs> anyway, here is the gorgeous box from Mabon. In its all in its glory. So, all right. Yeah, you're gonna hear people. But anyway, it's all good. Okay, so let's see. So we got the Dragon's Blood um, and Desert Sage. So Dragon's Blood is considered to be one of the most effective ingredients for spells. Let me get her out. Rituals and Intentions. It is most often used for power uh, purification protection and passion these magical properties combined with the cleansing purifying and protective energy of desert sage all right we know how to use it you light it and then it talks about casting a circle invoking deity let's see here energy spell work so we have the set of raven um cauldron candle candle holders absolutely gorgeous I, this is so beautiful I cannot wait to put these on my um, altar so these candle holders could be used as a cauldron and or a candle holder all in one. Oh my god use the small built-in space within the center to hold Palo Santo sticks incense or candles made from sturdy metal it features beautiful rays raven design and use on your altar blah 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 uh, red taper candles. We know what they do. That is for the spell work or for whatever you want to. Then you have uh, the ginger right here used with the red candle included in your box. Ginger is often used in spells regarding success, increased energy, and personal power. Then we have the star anise right here. Let's see. Used with a red candle, included in your box. Magical properties include psychic power, luck, passion, and protection. And then I already talked about the beautiful stone. Really, really, really unique. I, I don't think I ever had one. And what else? What else? What else? Oh, the Demeter Ritual Oil. Where are you? 
right here. Smells beautiful. Smells like fall. Um, where is that guy? Sorry. Uh, a blessing of protection. Um, yeah, some of this, a lot of it is like maybe spell work. And yeah, so the art print are by Christy right here. Oh, and the pendant, the Shungite pendant. So I guess this is it. I don't know, but this is like a black salt. Is this Shungite here? I don't know. That's weird. I don't know. I don't. Oh, no. And then the candle. Huh. And that, because I'm trying to find stuff, guys. This is going live here. This is the tarot card, and that is from the Black and Gold Tarot. And I guess it's on sale on their website, which is cool. And she does do these art prints, so that's awesome. So it is by her. I don't see the Shanghai pendant. I don't know where that is, but I did get this. So to me, that is a pendant. And I think that's it. But I mean, there is more, but I don't see information on it. And I don't want to give uh, this black salt apothecary bottle, which is cool. Oh, okay. They tell me here's this um, incense. Does it say what's in it? Um, and the wooden, so the happiness inset sticks right here. It's white sage. Yeah. And it comes with this little guy right there. We have the black sand. And you can use that for casting a circle. And we have the tea. I did discuss that. And this beautiful, beautiful candle. So, sorry about the dogs now. But that is it, guys. So the name of this is the Witch's Path from Mabon. This is their deluxe. They also have the um, Sugar Muses, uh, Midnight Muses. It's a smaller box. I believe it's $26 plus shipping. So I believe that one's $32 or $34. But both boxes are absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, this is like one of my favorite. Like I'm so happy I found them. Like aesthetically pleasing. Just I just feel like really, really great energy. It's like dark. It's like a, for me, like a perfect combination of like dark and light. I, I don't know how to describe that, but like I feel balanced when I get her boxes. So I absolutely, absolutely adore them. Um, and I do have two other favorites of the Magical Folk, definitely is Candace, and then the Witch's Moon. So, anyway, guys. That is it for today. I know this video maybe was a little bit, you know, a little bit all over the place. But um, again, you know, I hope that you understand. I've been really wanting just to talk to you and uh, just, you know, not do voiceovers or short format all the time. Um, but it's been really, really hard. But, you know, since it's not as hot out, it's really, really nice to I want to come out here and share this with you in nature. Now it's a little quiet for this moment. So, guys, that is it. Um, yeah, and I'm hoping to be able to do some art, but I may still be in this um, studio for like another three or four months, I'm going to be honest with you. So... I may just share like some of the drawings I've been doing in my book of shadows. That's kind of like all the um, artwork I've been doing right now just because that's all I can do. So I hope you understand. And that is it guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Have a beautifully blessed Mabon um, if you celebrate. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.